I don't know. It says we're live, so we're going to check this out. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Beverly Wixon, and we're here with Brenda Lanigan. And we're using StreamYard, which means you have to give StreamYard permission for your comments to show up. Otherwise, we don't see them. <laughs> so just want you to know that. And if you're watching the replay, please give us a hashtag replay. If you're watching the live, give us a hashtag live. And I'm trying to see if we actually are live because I haven't done this in a really long time. So I just want to make sure it's, yep, yeah, we're live. So um, Brenda is a holistic lifestyle practitioner and she's going to share some tips and things on, she's going to tell us how she got started, what she does, and basically how to, you know, be healthy and live a wonderfully healthy lifestyle. Right, Brenda? Absolutely. Great. Well, why don't you start out by just telling us a little bit about, um, you know, how you got started? I would love to. Um, well, it started uh, over, actually, it's going to be, uh, as of tomorrow, it will be about 27 years since uh, I started my journey. Um, this uh, Sunday will be the anniversary of my mom passing away with cancer at the age of 51. And right at the end of her life, we found, um, we were researching, just trying to find different uh, ways to help her with pain management and just help with just overall, just anything that we could possibly do. And we started coming across different holistic therapies which i had never heard of before and were pretty you know non-existent back in in 1994. Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah it was a while ago and uh so from that point uh, you know, we learned about SEAC tea and um just different herbal remedies and supplements and all these wonderful things that were available that uh you know, a lot of people hadn't heard of. So that started me on my journey of finding out what else was available because I like giving people options. That's one thing that I love to do. In my last career as a social service worker, um, you know, people come to me and they're like, there's nothing else that I can do. And I'm like, there's always something you can do. So I love to provide options and with the journey that I've had over these past 27 years, I've been able to learn a lot. I love to read. I love to learn. I'm a student of life. And uh, my library is like over 1,500 books and counting. I can never pass up a book, a book sale uh, or a bookstore, mind you. So, um, yeah, I am my friends. Yeah, any when they, anytime we go on a road trip, which hasn't happened in a while, it's like, ooh, that looks like a cool store. And they get there, it's like, seriously, it's a bookstore. I'm like, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I learned about uh, reflexology. I do reflexology and uh, color light therapy, which I've been doing for over 20, 20 years now. And... Um, it's really interesting to see how things really um, come into your life. And until you look back at them, you really don't see them and see the messages that were there. And uh, the day that my uh, mom passed away, uh, that evening, just after she passed, I went out. It was a crappy day. It was cold. It was rainy. It was just a nasty day. And I went out and... I hate to say it, but I used to smoke. So, uh, you know, don't do that anymore. I'm a lot healthier now. But uh, I went out and there was this double rainbow in the sky. And it stayed there for over two hours. Just wow. both of them were so prominent. And so anytime I see a rainbow, I always uh, think that my mom is just uh, touching in to say hello. And... Now that I look back, I was thinking about that last year and thinking about, you know, doing all the color uh, therapies that I do. And I'm like, wait a minute. I had a sign way back then with all the colors of the rainbow. And so it, it's really interesting to see um, how things progress and all these different things that have come into my life. And today I'm wearing rainbow colors. Got all the colors on today. And... Um, yeah, just 
all these different things as I've progressed and just learned other things have shown up and I've learned some other things and I've been able to connect a lot of them together. So for instance, my color light therapy, I include Reiki with that as well as uh, Ho'oponopono. And so all these different therapies, it's really nice because then you can really move them to get, I'm sorry, my puppy here is uh, pushing me off my chair. Oh, well, everybody uh, loves puppies, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's a big puppy. He's only seven months old and he's quite large. So, but uh, stop. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's nice that I've been able to, you know, combine different things and learn different things. So it's quite nice. Well, you may as well go ahead and show the puppy because he wants to be shown. All okay. right. There he is. His name's Gary. Gary's Hi, Gary. He's a purebred Rot Rot Rottweiler. Yes, wow. there you go. Can you see yourself? See? You're such a good boy. You got to stop chewing on Nana's arm. Yes. Okay. You gotta behave. Go find your toy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he had a sleepover last night for the first time. So, yeah. Oh, Nana had to sleep on the couch <laughs> because uh, my, my main floor is my business and I have uh, like a separate room for coaching and things. So, it's got a couch in there. My, um, my area is upstairs. I've got a separate, a separate upstairs, and he won't do the stairs. <laughs> so Nana slept on the couch last night. He's still a puppy, that's why. Yes, absolutely. We tried and tried, but no avail. So, yeah. I had a dog that never would go up them. I know we're tangenting here a little bit, people, but it's okay. Um, never would go up the stairs. And then my father was over here, and my dog was just crazy about my dad. And he oh, went upstairs wow. to do something, and all of a sudden, there's the dog. Really? He went up. Now, coming down was a different story. I had to pick her up and carry her down, and she was like a cat. Claw. <laughs> like, no. But she, she finally, so at that point, she would go upstairs after that, but this never would come down them. Never. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to. I carried him up when he was a puppy, and he was like a very solid puppy, but now... Oh, he's got to weigh at least 80 to 100 pounds. And yeah. <laughs> then it's not lifting him. <laughs> yeah. So, so getting back to what we're actually here to talk about. <laughs> um, you might, Let's tell people where you are located anyway. I am in Port Coburn, Ontario, Canada, where it's finally getting warm. <laughs> and I'm in Lakeland, Florida, where it would drop. We had a cold front. It dropped down to the 60s. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my thing is it's May. Why are we having a cold front? And the reason I wanted to make sure we said where we were is that I've had remote sessions with you on Reiki. Yeah. And I think to me that's the most fascinating thing there is because I had no idea that could be done. I mean, before we did that, I'd heard of Reiki. I'd never had it done, but I'd heard of it. Um, but it had other energy things done, but I had to go to a place and have it done. You know, pretty much like having a massage done. I had right. to go there. So it was absolutely fascinating to me that we could do this remotely. And can you explain it, how that works? Or is it just one of those things that we know works? <laughs> I can do my best to explain it. And with that Reiki, I did do color lights as well because I can do color lights long distance. And um, as we know, Everything has an energy. We are an energy. Uh, everything around us is energy. And when you put your intent to something and you focus on something, that energy has no time, distance, anything like that. So when I focus on someone, and it doesn't matter where in the world you are, it's like you're right there in front of me because my energy is, well, not my energy, but as a channel for the energy, uh, for healing is right there and right going right to that person. That, it makes so much sense when you say it. I mean, it really does because like I said, everything is energy. We all know this. I mean, we've known for eons, it seems like, I know it hasn't been that long, but most of our lives we have known that we are made up of atoms and, and everything else is made up of atoms and that, you know, atoms are 99.99999 empty space, which could say a lot about some people. <laughs> but we know that 
but I think still the fact that we can make it work long distance is strange, but it's the same thing, isn't it? Like sometimes you think about somebody, you think about calling them and all of a sudden they call you. It's because Absolutely. Of energy out there. So we all like to think this is so weird. Oh my God. I was just, thinking. you know, we pick up our phone. Oh, I was just thinking about you. And that's why, because yeah. it is a little magical with the, the way the energy goes out. Um, so for those of you thinking it's really crazy, it's not. <laughs> it, makes, it makes perfect sense when you have somebody explain it the way you just explained it. I mean, because every, like you said, everything is energy. Um, and so I, it makes me feel like if we all just sat and, you know, I mean, well, I even think back to when We Are the World was a big thing, you know, the song, everything. It seemed like there was a lot more peace. And I think if we put that energy out there of love, if we all did it at like the same time, we might see a change in this world. Maybe we need to start that movement. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. I, yeah, because thoughts are energy as well. That's how we manifest things. When we put feeling into it, when we've got our emotions involved and we're excited and we're happy and we're just thinking of all the wonderful things that can happen and we push that out there, then the universe just says okay that's what you want and instead of getting all messed up in this muck and blah, of negativity and things like that because it just sucks you right in and there's no way out well, but and, if you, yeah. and it's it's sad because fear breeds negativity mm -hmm. and it's just that's all that's out there right now so even in your small way just smiling at somebody and even though yep you've got your mask on but people can tell when you're smiling because it goes right up to your eyes and your eyes are smiling so if you can do that and just brighten one person's day that just goes out and just ripples yes. all over the world and if any everybody can do that and just smile and yeah there's a lot of things going on and yes they're scary and yes there's unknown but if we can keep that peace in our heart and know that we are doing our part to raise the vibration of the world which is where we need to be because a higher vibration is a healthier body then you know you're you're really doing service to everybody in the world as well as mother earth Yes, I think it was Volkswagen that used to have a commercial about smiling and passing it on. And it was oh, the same, really? I, I believe it was them. And it's the same type thing because and we've always known smiles are contagious. But it's, Absolutely. It's, not, it's not just a fake smile. It's a smile because you're putting out that energy. You know, we never really realized it back then, I don't think, because it was a long time ago. But that's what it is. It's you're putting out the energy of, I'm a happy person. I, you know, my vibration is up here and it just spreads. Absolutely. Yeah. Just so like when somebody opens the door for you, how do you feel? It's like, oh, is that ever nice? And then it just kind of lifts up your spirits and you continue on with your day. And, you know, and then you do something nice for somebody else and it just out it goes. You know? exactly. exactly. Now, you mentioned color therapy, color light therapy. Um, yeah. So I know you do Reiki. I know you do the color light therapy. What else do you do? And maybe you might even need to explain the color light therapy a little bit. And maybe even Reiki. Some people may not even know what it is. Sure. So uh, color light therapy, I use, um, it's like a pen light flashlight. It's only about this big. And I have these little colored discs that are crushed minerals. Um, and they're all the different colors of the rainbow. And then I have uh, like turquoise and different, so they're called spiritual colors, but they're uh, like magenta and all the different colors, not your regular rainbow colors. They're the, the other uh, different types of colors. And what that does is um, if you think about the sunshine, which Florida has a lot of, I've only been there once, but it's like, oh, it's so nice and warm here. Um, when you have the sunshine, the sunshine has all the colors of the rainbow. They have all the colors that you can see and then all the invisible colors as well, as well as ultraviolet, uh, infrared, all these wonderful things. When you step out into that sunshine and you breathe that in, your body is just absorbing all those colors and all those ones, even though you might not see those colors. 
And your body recognizes color as something it can use to support itself and heal itself in whatever needs to be done. So for us up here in um, Canada, where we have snow uh, at winter time, uh, we don't get the sun a lot and it's cold and it's just not fun at all. So we kind of hibernate in the house all winter, unless you like sports and stuff, which I don't, <laughs> I like being warm. Um, so you get a lot of seasonal affective disorder, which means that we don't get enough sunshine, which creates depression. And it's because of the lack of sunshine and it's because of the lack of colors we get from the sunshine. So with color light therapy, what I'm doing is I am utilizing those specific colors and focusing them on a specific area of the body to help that area uh, heal. So it can be used for pain management. Uh, like the possibilities are endless. Um, a really cool story I can share with you when my granddaughter was born, which will be two years ago tomorrow. Um, after she was born, she had a lot of mucus in her lungs and she was having a really hard time breathing. And so she couldn't take a bottle because she couldn't breathe through her nose. And it was just, it was so sad. So uh, we were kind of worried and she was losing a bit of weight. And uh, so my daughter and her would have had to stay in the hospital longer. So um, I came home that night and decided to do color lights on Anaya, that's her name, and uh, used the orange, which is uh, a hot color. Um, and what that does is it gets things moving. And so clearing out our lungs, clearing everything out. And the next morning I went back and everything was totally clear. So, and it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool to be able to use, to be able to, you know, help those you love and just help uh, people just uh, get through different things. So uh, it's pretty amazing. And that was just focusing a specific color on a specific area and then the intent with the Reiki. And so that's what that does. And then Reiki as well. It's, um, I, I say it's how Jesus healed really. It's, he laid his hands on people. So it's not me that's doing the healing. I am a vessel for that healing. So it's just coming from, uh, source or the universe, whatever people like to uh, consider. And then it's just flowing through me and uh, wherever the Reiki needs to go, as well as the color lights, it just goes where it needs to in the body. I don't even have to be, um, I don't need to know the specifics of what's going on. Just it goes where it needs to go and uh, does what it needs to do. So that is so cool. I'm, it's a wonderful story about your granddaughter. Absolutely incredible story. And I mean, I've no, I know color has healing energies. I've heard that before. And that like, you know, green is healing, blue is, you know, yellow is for like wisdom and blue is for something else. <laughs> I can never remember them all, but I've heard of it. So well, it's fascinating um, about orange. I had no idea that it did this whole thing about moving things around so much. Well, <laughs> yeah, all your hot colors get you motivated. So um, anybody who has children or grandchildren and you're trying to get them to sleep at night, don't put them or red or orange or yellow pajamas because you're going to defeat the whole purpose. They'll be running around like lunatics because they're, they're the colors that get you moving. That's the colors you use in the morning when you're like dragging your butt and it's like, oh. You know, like the Dunkin' Donut man, it's time to make the donuts. You know, those are the colors you use to get moving. But uh, when you're trying to uh, go to sleep or calm them down, you need to use the cool colors, which would be blue, indigo, or violet. I worked in a school one time where there was a brand new building and we got put in it and they, other people were supposed to go in and weren't happy. But it was blue wall, light blue walls. Best behaved kids we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> because they weren't the sterile white and right. somebody, somebody wanted to paint them red. And I was like, are you crazy? I mean, even I know what red does. I mean, that's what I wear whenever I would, like you said, whenever I really wanted to have a, a motivating day, I needed to be motivated. I had to be productive. I would wear red. 
you know, where there's black colors. Um, and that's, I've heard those things, but like I said, I never made a big connection with it all. It makes so much sense. So much sense. Oh, it does. And blue is a color for communication because it's your throat chakra. So it's your communication. It's also for speaking your truth and knowing what the truth is. So you can use blue um, if you're going to be talking to somebody or having a conversation where you're just not sure if they're on the up and up or whatever. So you can, it'll help you read between the lines as well. So uh, blue's a really good color for that. That's probably why they tell people to wear blue for interviews so much. There you go. There you go. So can you um, give like three easy tips for clearing some energy or three things that stuck energy can create, you know, in the body? Well, stuck energy can create stagnancy. Uh, it's always good to get things moving. So um, I always like to do a spring clean and just go through things. If you haven't used it in a while, donate it uh, or throw it away if it's broken. Or if you have a friend that's like, oh, I know they'll really like this, you know, then send it off to them. And then what that does is it opens up the energy for new stuff to come to you. Uh, if you're just keeping hoarding things, then it doesn't open up the energy. So a really good exercise you can do is clench your fists together. And then what can you grab a hold of with your fist clenched? Nothing. There you go. So <laughs> when you open up and you let go, everything comes to you because you're open to receive. Ah. Excellent. Yes, um, I've always said nature abhors a vacuum. So whenever you clear out things, new stuff comes in. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why and it we makes you feel good too. You you rearrange things, and it's not like you have to do a renovation or anything, but just rearranging things. Um, another cool story I can share with you is I was reading a, a book uh, called Soul Source Entrepreneur. And uh, as I mentioned, my whole main floor is my business. And um, so in the book, it's like, well, is your office set up uh, for you to be the CEO of your business? So I'm like, I think so. So I go downstairs and I looked and I went, wow, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> So I had an office, which is now where the couch is, and um, I had a desk and it had um, like shelves on it um, and stuff because I've got crystals and oracle cards and all these things. But the, the office was really dark. So I had this little round table that I would use and uh, sit in, in the living room um, and uh, because the light was in here. But I put myself in the darkest corner of the living room on this teeny tiny little table that I could fit my laptop on and nothing else. So all my work that I was doing was spread out on the floor. And I'm like, how did I miss this? <laughs> so I totally redid it. I moved things around. And now what used to be the living room, because this used to be my apartment when I had my one of my daughters upstairs. So I have my desk. I took off the cabinet part. I have an extra part and now I can see outside. It's nice and bright in here. And just that shift just helped me be so much more productive and just felt so much better. And yeah, it just, uh, it just works wonders. And just having um, a space even like a lot of people are working from home with their kids at home and just having space for themselves can be really, really difficult. But even just finding a space for you to have a little uh, sacred space of your own, that's what I call it, even if it's a chair with a little table beside it, uh, like we did on the, the five day challenge uh, a couple of years ago, just to find that space to make it your own and put some things there that you really enjoy gets you motivated to sit there and just be and just, you know, sit with your thoughts or journal or just relax. And just that little space can do so much wonderful stuff for you. 
Yes, that five day challenge you're talking about. I think that's how we met. And mm -hmm. I remember at the time I was having a room redone. But oh, okay. I had a little ottoman out there that I just love. It's all beachy. And they kind of they did some stuff to my walls that I wasn't happy with. And I really did not like the room. But I had a couple of tapestries, sort of like the one back here. They were really bright and colorful. So I put it in the corner. I just hung it up in the corner and I moved the thing. And that's where I sat and did my meditations, my journaling, everything. It's wonderful. Just because I had these bright colors behind me. They've now finished off that room. They redid the walls. It's painted. It's cool. I love it. And I had a treadmill in there that was just taking up space. I got rid of it. And it's like that room just opened up so much. And now I sit out there all the time. Awesome. That's it's amazing yeah. what those little shifts will do. It's just, mm -hmm. it'll make the world of difference. And especially if you go in and it's just like, oh, there's that treadmill again. You know, it's the elephant in the room, but you don't do anything about it. Right. You know, that's the, do something with it. Out it goes, you know, right. decide what you want to do. Exactly. And I think it's the same thing with all our little knickknacks. You know, we put them up. And then we don't even, we get to after a year or so, we don't even notice them. Yeah. So it's like move them around, move them around where, you know, if you love them, move them around so you can see them. And if they get into a point that you don't even like them, that's when they need to go. But if you truly do love them, shift them around so you'll notice them more. Mm -hmm. I do that with pictures because at Christmas, all my Christmas stuff comes out. <laughs> <laughs> my Christmas pictures. So then whenever I put up the other ones after Christmas, they end up in different places because I can't remember where they were. So <laughs> they all end up in different places. And it's like, this is cool. I get to see them like they're all new again. Absolutely. So, well, do you crystals, you got to rinse your crystals, put them out in the sunshine, charge them back up. I've got crystals everywhere. So, yeah. Oh, true. I, do, I do need to do that now that you mentioned that. I do need to do that. Because they do get dusty. They get yes. very dusty. Yes. Whether they're on a necklace or whatever, they, they get dusty. And I mean, so that, I need to do that. I'll do that this weekend. So do you have any workshops coming up or anything that you want to, any offers you have that you, you know? I do. I have a workshop. It was uh, originally scheduled for this Tuesday, but I've been having some difficulties with Eventbrite and I still am. But um, I'm going to be having it this Thursday and it's going to be at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Savings Time, uh, which is the same time as you've got right now. So um, it's called uh, Gentle Messages, uh, Rest and Rejuvenate with Gentle Messages. And uh, I can explain a little bit about that. I um, created a deck of Oracle cards last year. And uh, yes, I just, I love Oracle cards. They're so much fun. So um I created these Oracle cards and uh, because I work a lot with essential oils and what I found with the essential oils is there is so much information out there. It can get so overwhelming and you just don't know what to do. You get this bottle of oils and then it's like, well, great. Now what do I do with it? So I created a deck of Oracle cards um, to help you learn about the essential oils and really incorporate it into your life back in about 2007 i think it was i worked with essential oils for a whole year and back then really didn't know that much about essential oils other than my friend who was an aromatherapist is like hey you want to do want to be a guinea pig and do some essential oils for a year i'm like sure so um she would give me um, a different oil each week and I did this for a whole year and I journaled what I experienced and at the end of that year I looked back on my life and I did not recognize my life at all. It had changed that drastically but I didn't realize it as it was going. It was very gentle. It was a very gentle way of changing things like it was more on um, a spiritual and mental emotional level than it was a physical level. And uh, just my thoughts changed, the things I was willing to try changed, I was actually able to try, willing to try things where before it was like, mm, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, oh, that's cool. 
Yeah, it was really interesting. Uh, back then, I was on uh, assistance. Like there was, a, it was a very difficult uh, time, and um, I was in a very uh, abusive relationship. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was just a nasty time. Uh, something I needed to go through to be who I am today, so that I'm able to help others. But uh, not that much fun going through it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always wanted to be a social service worker. That was something I've wanted to do since I was a little girl. And uh, going through high school back when I graduated, unless you took the, the 150 courses, you weren't going into high school or college or university because you had to do those specific things. And I hadn't. So um, I was talking to somebody at the local agency and they're like, well, do you want to try the second career program? And I'm like, well, I didn't take the proper courses. And they're like, oh, no, I'm, you don't have to worry about that. And I'm like, really? I can go back to college? And they're like, yeah, you can. So um, we have a college here uh, about 15 minutes away in Welland. And then there was one in Toronto, which is two hours away. And uh, so they're like, well, you know, apply to both and i'm like i'm not going to toronto there is no way i am driving to toronto because i had two small girls and my uh, daughters were i think 10 and maybe 12 and 7 something like that and i'm like no no i'm a single mom mm -mm, not doing it and they're like we'll just see so i'm like okay yeah we'll see so lo and behold i got on the waiting list here in Welland and I got accepted in Toronto and that happened I got the letter in December and they started two weeks later in January and I had to make a decision so these oils that I have been doing for the whole year up till this point got me outside that comfort zone to go all right well I don't want to waste another year of my life, so let's do it. And I commuted to Toronto every day for two wow. years. Wow. Yeah. yeah, kind of stressful, especially because of my youngest daughter. She had really bad anxiety, so she would cry every morning going, Mommy, something bad's going to happen. And I'm just like, I can't do this. I just And, you know, just off I'd go, and everything worked out good, and... I think because of that as well, my daughters grew up really, really strong and both of them are living their dreams now and are very independent and self-sufficient and uh, yeah, they're doing amazing things. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was something else, but those oils really helped me through that. So it's a very gentle way of doing things and that's why I created the Oracle cards and those gentle messages as well. So I'm going to be um, doing some readings uh, during this uh, workshop and then um, as well as coaching because I do holistic uh, lifestyle coaching so really helping people get to the the core of what's going on uh, in a very gentle way and uh, yeah so just it's a fun night of just being able to take some me time and just relax and just have some fun and all the messages really can connect with you on uh, a different way if you'd like I can pull a card for the day oh. if you'd like and sure, let's see. Do that. all right so yeah these are my cards here there we go okay. yeah there's the book okay cool there we go. I love how I love when they have books with them. <laughs> yeah, it helps. That's for sure. Okay, so Cypress popped right out. So that's, geez, come Ooh, on, right. cards. I like that. Yeah. So it's got the picture of the oil that it comes from, and then um, if you want to close your eyes and just listen to my voice, okay. breathe in. Breathe out. Feel my essence envelop you in a nice warm hug. Are you going through a difficult time right now? Are you hurting from a loss? There's been right. some stress, yeah. <laughs> What's that? There's been some stress, yes. There you go. I am Cypress and I am here to help. 
It is time for self-care. Are you listening to your body and what it is trying to tell you? Are you ignoring the signs, just trying to plow forward through each day with no direction? Slow down. Take time to be. And the exercise is create a safe space to allow yourself to feel the emotions towards any grief, trauma, or loss. Journal your feelings. Do you feel that you need supports? Know that you are not alone and there are many supports available to you. How is your health? Are you taking care of yourself? Your health is most important right now. Ensure you are drinking enough water, eating whole foods, and getting enough sleep. If these basic needs are not met, it is difficult to work on the emotional aspects as your thinking will be foggy and unable to focus. Take me along for a boost of support. Remember, your number one priority is caring for yourself. And the affirmation is, I listen to my body, providing basic necessities such as clean water, whole foods, and enough sleep. That's nice. I like that. Thank you. That's really great. So that's Thursday night, you said? Thursday night at 7. Um, I can send you the link for the event bright and then yeah you just register it's going to be on a zoom call so people can it's very interactive people can ask questions and um yeah it's going to be a lot of fun well that's a perfect self-care thing to for everybody to schedule in right there i Absolutely. mean they, they don't even have to worry about what they're trying to what they want to do you're going to be there to lead them i yep. think that's fantastic well make sure you send me the link to that and then we'll put it in the comments here or mm -hmm. actually, you know, and also how can people get in contact with you? Well, you can contact me through my website, which is essenceofyou.ca, or I have a Facebook group called Essence of You as well. And um, oh, actually, can I put it in here? So I, let me see Bottom here. One. Put it right there in the chat. Um, It does not seem to want to let me. Okay. Comments. All right. Well, if not, we can always put it in later. <laughs> okay. So there's the event bright. And then I'll just um Yeah, we'll leave this up. I mean, obviously, we'll leave it up so it'll be in there so everybody can watch the replay. And if you're watching the replay, you know, tell us. Give us a hashtag replay. And if you have any questions, ask them. Brenda will answer them. Absolutely. I, I probably won't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, feel free to tag Brenda or tag me, whichever, to to get an answer. Um, I can yeah, I'll just put my full name on here so... Uh... You can message me if you like. Yeah, send her a DM. Um, I mean, the le at least I, I do know the name of the website. I can give you that. And, <laughs> you know, and people can join your Facebook group. That'd be awesome to learn more. Absolutely. And yeah, there's always um, uh, just questions or just different thoughts for the day and just a nice way to start your day. And um, yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn as well under Brenda Lanigan. And uh, I'm in there as well. So, um, yeah. And if anybody, uh, what I really focus on as well is prevention. And it's so important for self-care. We need to take care of ourselves. It's not selfish. It's not, you know, you have to be number one or you can't take care of anybody else. That's the bottom line. And um and I realized that when I was in social service work, even knowing all the knowledge that I have and being a holistic practitioner for, you know, umpteen years, even at the end of my, uh, before I retired from social service work after 10 years in nonprofit, um, I did not realize how stressed out I was and I did self care. So it's really important to have, uh, you know, somebody in your corner that's like, hey, you know, 
you need to take it easy. You're doing okay here and you don't need to keep pushing through and beating yourself up. And because sometimes we can be our own worst enemies and sometimes the way we talk to ourselves is not how we would talk to even anyone, you know? And uh, so um, I provide uh, coaching for uh, people who are burnt out or they're just at that tipping point where it's, you know, it could go either way. And it doesn't need to go like that. It's, uh, you know, there is help out there and I can, uh, you know, just direct you and just give you options. That's what I do is, is give options and get you feeling where you need to do and give you, help you create boundaries and balance because it's all about balance and balance is so important for everything to flow your work your family you know your friends everything you need to have that social component even with things going on there are different ways to do that and you know so it's just uh it's nice to have somebody that can say hey i can help you with that so um yeah i do yeah, that I as well it's like you said before when you're in the midst of it you don't even notice it so Absolutely. you know and even if that's what you teach if you're in the midst of it you don't notice it so you have to have somebody else to help you out. So this is a great way to do it. And hopefully we'll get you some people coming into your, I'm coming into your workshop. I'm awesome. Gonna, I'm going to join it. Um, I'll be at the beach all week until but I come home Thursday. So it's <laughs> funny. I should be able to be in there and be very, ah, relaxed. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Just continue that relaxation yeah. right into that. <laughs> exactly. That's the goal. And so thank you so much for this. I appreciate it. And Thank I'm sure you for having me. Here. Yeah. I mean, this has been great. I mean, like I said, I I did some Reiki sessions. I mean, like I said, I met you in the workshop. And it was probably another year before I reached out to you for the Reiki. Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah. And because we were in the middle of a pandemic, I was like, I don't want to go. I, I had no idea where to go around here. And I was like, I certainly don't want to go to somebody I don't know. <laughs> especially with the pandemic going on. So since we had done the, we had done um, one session right after the workshop. So I knew enough to reach out to you and I remembered how good that was. And so it was like, this has been great. And I think I, we've done about six or seven sessions just in the last little while because I was going through a whole lot of junk um, with family and stuff. And it was causing a lot of tension in me and muscles that I, that I knew were damaged and all these different things, but I had gotten rid of the energy that was in there previously and it all came back and it came back with a vengeance. Um, and you took care of a lot of that. And when, when this, and the situation, you helped me get through the situation when the situation dissipated and went away, everything was fine because that energy was totally gone. I mean, you took away a lot of it, but when that, when the situation was gone, everything changed. And so I am really grateful that you helped me through all that. And that's why I wanted to do this and get you on here and show other people that it's amazing what can be done from long distances. Just, you know, like you said, it's, it's, all, it's all energy, but we don't think about it. And that's why I wanted to make sure people knew because it is something that can help. So there's, there's help. Even if you're stuck in your house with a pandemic and quarantine, there's still help out there. Oh, for sure there is. And it's perspective too with the color lights, bringing in the color lights, help remove all that crap from the past, but it also helps with your perspective on how you see things. So it, it's raising your vibration because color is a vibration. So when your body gets that color, it's like, yay! And it starts to raise and then you start seeing things differently. And then that's when you can shift your thinking a little bit and it's like okay i can do something with this and it gives you more opportunities to look around and see what's really going on than what you're stuck in because then the negativity takes over and then it's just you know it shuts everything down because your body's like i just don't want to deal with this so it just it's like shields up it's like nope not dealing with it forget it but when your vibration is raised, then your eyes open up and everything, it's like, everything's clear. And it's like, okay, I can handle this and I can do something with this. And it just, it really helps on all levels. 
And, you know, I didn't even realize previous to, to now, I don't think that you did some color light therapy on me. So that I'm sure had a huge difference. And like you said, how I reacted to everything, but I didn't even know it. So yeah. that's wonderful. So thank you so much for all of that. Thank you for today. And we'll get all your, we'll make sure that everybody can have your link and you can DM Brenda if you want to. And essence of you dot C A C A for Canada. Yes. So not that's dot right. <laughs> Okay. So essence of you, and it is you spelled out Y O U. Yep. So, and dot K C A and you find her and schedule a session. I'm telling you, you'll love it. Absolutely fantastic. And I really Thank appreciate you. having you here and we'll talk to you later then. Thank you so much for having me, Beverly. This has been a lot of fun. Great. Okay. Bye, everybody. Make sure you contact Brenda and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.